Uh, as, as I said, we try to navigate this rather difficult situation that we are facing around the world. Agriculture has become a high priority for the simple reason that uh, the crisis in food uh, supply and food prices has hit us very hard. The, the, it, it is a surprise still, I think, to many of us that the, a war very far away, halfway around the world, will affect uh, food prices and food supply in a place like the Philippines. Uh, and China has already uh, been of assistance to us because we have actually had many agricultural exchanges. And I remember many years ago in the time of President Estrada, uh, the, we were the only recipient of the rice hybrid. Hybrid rice, yeah. Yes, that was brought to the Philippines. It was actually tested. I was governor of the province then. How are they helping the Philippines? In the northern part of the Philippines. Uh, and we tested the, the hybrid rice and it was, uh, it was, it, the yields were very, very high. So it's been going, we've been doing this for a long, long time. But there is new technology. There are new techniques. There are new strategies. There are new varieties. Yeah, many people don't know this, but uh, Mr. President, you're also the Minister of Agriculture. Yes. It's quite a juggle. <laughs> well, it is. Um, but it, I felt it was necessary because the, the situation in uh, the Philippines was, was quite severe. Mm -hmm. And we, I thought, that since we had to move very quickly, I thought uh, that should be a priority. And putting, having the president also uh, carry the, the uh, title and position of agriculture would make things go much quicker. Because I thought, uh, if I put the secretary there, who is this? secretary that can really get things going. And I said, the president is the only person in government that nobody can say no to. So I will go, to, I, will be the, I will be the secretary and I will make sure that he, and we have made some very serious progress. We were very worried that at the end of last year, there would be some severe short shortages in terms of food supply. And we were very worried about the increase in prices. Uh, and we've been able to lessen that. There's still a very high inflation rate, uh, but much of that is imported. And so we're trying to reduce our importation. So all of these things have to be done around the agricultural sector. But then the agricultural sector is not farmers planting things in the, in the, the crops into the ground. Uh, agricultural sector includes also fisheries, includes um, also live, livestock uh, 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 growing. And so all of these have to be put together and we have to create a support chain so that our farmers, our livestock growers, all of them, uh, our fisher folk are able to, to adjust as well, to bring higher production, to, uh, so we, no, we do not, no longer need to import food.